It's my birthday this week. I woke up this morning to a very big surprise. Do you know about this day, Mama? Were you in cahoots? My partner took the day off and planned a whole day of activities for us. So we just started off the morning by going and picking up some breakfast burritos from this place that we've been wanting to try for such a long time. That's really good. That's so good and they were incredible. They lived up to the hype completely. He also said to me, Queen, you can pick any coffee, any coffee in all of Dallas, your choice. So I got a coconut pie ice latte from Sip and Stir because it was just convenient with where we were. I love all my regulars. They've been so good. One thing about me, I love anything coconut so good we also stopped at Italy because he picked up a grocery order for us to make an Italian dinner tonight together at home I'm sorry I'm so excited for that right now we are about to go to see the Priscilla movie which I'm very excited about but I'm also a little scared for because I know it's gonna be very sad the age gap please I'm not ready for this but I know it's gonna be so gorgeous because it's shop at a24 I love anything that they do so I'm really excited and then we have a pottery class that we're going to which is one of my favorite things ever. We did this last year also, I believe, or the year before that. And it's honestly horrific how long it's been since I've been to one of these classes. I can't wait, I can't wait. I love anything that entails like tactile stimulation, anything that gets my hands dirty, gets my mind away from itself. And I just feel really lucky. I, I really wasn't expecting much for my birthday this year. And not in a sad way, but this is the year that my birthday feels the least like my birthday is coming than it ever has. Again not in a sad way like I'm so grateful it just doesn't feel like it's my birthday like I can't believe it's November yeah I think if nothing else my channel is for documenting my life and what is more momentous in a life than a birthday oh my god my neighbor is parking next to me this is so embarrassing that's my cue I gotta go I'll see you guys at the movie theater cheers Pottery class was so much fun. I'm very dirty. We're now at the mall. We came to Italy to pick up some more ingredients. We're currently trying to choose a pasta noodle. We've never had that noodle. We've never had actual pasta noodles from here. So I'm excited to see if it tastes any different. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it'll be amazing. But it's hard to choose because there's so many options. So I guess we're 24. Uh, <laughs> today is my birthday and um, I am feeling sentimental as I do. Shall we get existential? Of course, the answer is always yes. Hello, I am just feeling so overwhelmed with gratitude for the love that I have in my life and the community that I am surrounded by. I feel so deeply known by the friends and the partner and the family that I keep closest to me and I just feel really lucky in so many ways and it's been a big year. I, I, I find that as I get older I get more uncomfortable with the idea of having attention placed on me. I slept half the day <laughs> to avoid my birthday which is such a silly thing and I knew that there would be nothing but kind words flooding my phone but I just couldn't bring myself to face the day for some reason and that's just so silly but I know that a lot of people feel the same way it's just so funny because I will insert photos here of my childhood birthdays like where I was adopted and I <laughs> I was very much the opposite I loved the attention I loved the drama when I was seven years old I had a Hannah Montana themed birthday party in which I ran around in a blonde wig okay the girl was not shy so yeah it's just it's so funny to see the ways in which you change as time goes on and I'm so excited to meet the version of me that will exist in a few years from now I just feel like someone's lying I came out to the sweetest surprise this morning my partner got me breakfast from my favorite places he got me these flowers from my favorite bakery that kind of partners with a local florist and every single time I go in there I'm like oh I love those and he went and got those for me and also that same bakery I go to pretty frequently it's Layla's if you watch any of my vlogs and they have the absolute best pastries seriously if you are ever in Dallas you need to go there they're so kind but they never have cherry pie and I love cherry pie and this morning they had cherry pie which just feels like a gift to me personally from the universe somebody put that idea in one of the baker's heads to make cherry pie today so that I could I could be gifted it and that just feels really sweet but yeah I came out to that surprise and all I could think was 
Who's gonna tell y'all that I'm still a teenage girl? This is very sweet, but I think you are mistaken. <laughs> and I don't mean that in terms of being afraid to age or being afraid to get older. I, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I will echo it forever. I think getting older is such a privilege. I, I deeply acknowledge that there are so many people who don't get the opportunity to get older. And if they do, are having to do so in a very compromised state. And so for that, I am so incredibly grateful. But it just feels bizarre because I just feel like a child. I just feel like, 24 feels so adult, you know? 23 was like, okay, I'm 23, this is cute. 22 was like, just for funsies. 21 was in the pandemic, so I, I mean, it was kind of weird, but 24 feels like, okay, maybe I can start taking myself a little bit more seriously. Maybe when I introduce myself, I can just say, I am Rosalie, instead of, ah, uh, Rosalie. Maybe I can stop throwing fluff around the edges to come off a little bit more charming when I really actually want to be assertive. Maybe I can speak my dreams out loud without speaking in a hushed tone. Maybe I can be a little bit louder about what I want for my life. And I think that that's part of why I'm so emotional today is just that I have recently made some big decisions and some big changes in my life, um, some of which I haven't shared on the internet yet. I'm in a very exciting and very terrifying time period as I think every person in their 20s is. And I'm really proud of myself for so many of the decisions that I've made this year so many of the consistent choices that I continue to make, therapy being one of them, therapy has absolutely changed my life. Love my therapist, literally need to text her today and be like, thanks for getting me here, queen. Yeah, and, and along that same vein, it just feels extra special this year because it took a lot to get here this year. You know, I don't want to trigger anybody and I don't want to take away from the joy of this day, but it is a reality that was very touch and go there for a few months. It was very, it was dark times. This time last year, um, I was in a major depressive episode for a pretty long time and going to treatment this year genuinely saved my life. So many of the people that I met there are some close friends that I have now. And there's so much beauty in the juxtaposition of friends that you met when you were all actively in some of the worst times of your life now wishing you a happy birthday and welcoming you into another year of your life it's just so transformative and so symbolic to me and i know that there's different schools of thought about you know whether or not you should fraternize with people that you went to treatment with i know i know there's different schools of thought i've talked to different people about it and i have made my choices okay i don't want to talk that's not the point of this video not encouraging you to do it but you know, people do it. Anyways, uh, I, I know it may come off a little crass, but I am just so genuinely thankful to my body for the ways in which it persists, despite me actively trying to make it disappear. And I mean that in so many different ways, that that statement has been true in so many different ways throughout the course of my life. And this girl, this vessel, she just keeps pushing. Like this heart just keeps beating. These eyelids just keep blinking. My brain just keeps functioning without me having to ask it to and that is so incredible and so stubborn of it and such a privilege um and i'm just i'm i'm so grateful to be here i'm so grateful to have weathered the storm i feel comfortable in my abilities to weather the next storm because there will be another one inevitably that's just a reality with my diagnoses and with the state of the world and the whole idea of being a human being but that just takes me back to the idea that i'm so grateful for my community and always every day but on days like today when i just have so many sweet messages and calls and people who know my favorite kinds of desserts and my favorite kind of flowers and my favorite colors and it's just like it is unfathomable to me that I exist in other people's lives. I know this sounds probably so dramatic and extreme to some people and also so on the nose to other people. The idea of me existing outside of myself in another person's life as somebody that they are excited to see or feel fondly towards or care to do things for is so bizarre to me <laughs> and i'm just so grateful i'm literally wearing a sweat set right now that my sister-in-laws got me this weekend when we went shopping after they took me for this wonderful dinner and made me my favorite kind of cake and i just can't believe that people love me like this yeah i just feel really seen and held i feel more secure in myself and my values and my existence than I think I ever have. I am actively happy to be here and that is something that I was not able to say very recently. So I have made it to 24 and 
I really mean that I have made it to 24 and I'm excited. <sighs> I am dedicating the day to spending time with this girl that I love so much. I have nothing on my to-do list today, but doing things that bring me joy. I am not overextending myself. I am not expecting anything of myself. No socializing required, nothing. I love the people in my life, but no socializing is required today. I am gonna paint and watch movies and read books and go for a little walk and cuddle with my dog and dance around my apartment to music as I should. And I'm just gonna be grateful for this little existence that I have. I have to say that I'm here I go with the disclaimers. Here I go with the disclaimers. I have to say that I feel really privileged and tone deaf talking about things like suicidal ideation and self-harm and stuff um, when I sit in this beautiful apartment with clothes on my back and food in my fridge and a community to be held by when there is so much tragedy. Uh, taking place in the world right now and always and it's really easy to be overwhelmed by that and I just want to say that I'm not oblivious to the fact that I am so lucky to have the problems that I have and to have treatment for the mental health issues that I have and to have the ability to take accountability for those things. I fully recognize that the things that have happened in my life are not my fault, but the way that I move through the world and the way that I choose to prolong the next generation of people in my family life, you know, the way in which I choose to address generational trauma is completely my responsibility and completely my choice and I don't take that lightly and with that being said I just want to take that opportunity to direct you to my description box where there are links for donating and for learning and for contributing in any way that you can to the crisis happening in Gaza. I feel like this should go without saying but while this is a space that advocates for the liberation of Palestine it is also not a place for anti-semitism. I, I don't feel like that should have to be said. I feel like that's common sense but please um know that and know that so many different things can be true at once but at the end of the day genocide is horrific and the, the death and the torture of human beings is horrific which is especially ironic because in a few weeks the entire u.s is going to be celebrating another genocide on thanksgiving and that just drives me insane but we're not going to go there because today's my birthday yeah so back to the gratitude i want to leave us off with um a quote that i really love let me pull it up so i don't butcher it it's so funny the way the world does not pause on your birthday like half of my messages are like birthday message and the other half of them are like messages related to work <laughs> like linkedin requests you know it's so funny not that the world should stop on your birthday but it's just it's funny i was talking to one of the guys that works in my building in the elevator and he was like how are you and i was like i'm good it's, it's actually my birthday today and he was like congratulations and i was like <laughs> Okay, safety is not the absence of threat, but the presence of connection. I don't want to get into a whole nother tangent. We already know, we know, we know, Rosalie loves her community. Rosalie is so grateful for people. But there was such a long period of my life, I mean, the majority of my life, as, you know, a logical response to the way that I grew up and then the situations that I encountered and how much I had to deal with on my own at such a young age, where I thought that being hyper-independent was the most commendable flex. I thought that it was just so badass to do everything alone, to never need anybody, to never accept help, to vanish at the first sight of conflict and have them never see you again, to... I thought that all of those unhealthy coping mechanisms were something to be proud of. And again, I don't judge that younger version of myself because she was dealing with different problems that I personally would not like to go through right now. And she she handled it the best she could and she is actively handling it the best she can as an adult to make sure that any unhealthy patterns are left in the past. But I just, year after year, a theme that proves to be true and again this year more prevalent than ever because of the help that I received from so many people earlier this year is that people are just, people are the root of all hope and we need each other so deeply and there is so much beauty in knowing your neighbors and doing good deeds and volunteering time and hugging people and making eye contact with people on the street and believing in the good not because you're naive not because you're oblivious but because hope is an act of rebellion and i just feel that so deeply in my bones that's the tattoo i have inked on my skin legitimately and i believe it so deeply so yeah welcome to my birthday vlog <laughs> thanks for 
for being here. I don't imagine that anybody watches these, but I can imagine how strange it must be to watch my birthday vlogs every year and just kind of see how I've changed as the years have gone by. And that's part of the beauty in doing them. And I say that I film these vlogs for documentation purposes, and that's true, but I never go back and watch them because I just can't stomach it. It's a comfort in just knowing that they're there, but I haven't gotten to a point yet where I can actually put on a video of my own and watch it. Like my partner watches every single one of my videos. He's so supportive, but he is not allowed to watch them in front of me because I cannot, I cannot hear the sound of my own voice. I shouldn't say not allowed. That's a little extreme, but I'll cringe and I'll like go to the other room. But yeah, anyways, I don't know how we got here. The universe has gifted me with cloudy weather on my birthday. It is 66 degrees and chilly because if you know anything about Texas, 66 degrees does not mean much when the humidity is still 90%. It's disgusting. But I actually have a genuine cold day. So I think I'm gonna throw on just like a little sporty outfit and go get my free coffee. I don't really go to Starbucks very often anymore, which I'm kind of proud of, kind of proud of. No judgment if you do, but I'm kind of proud that I don't go that much anymore. But I'm excited because the barista at my local Starbucks is so nice. Every time I do go there and I have an encounter with him again, I'm like, holy shit, you are so cool. So yeah, not much on the agenda. Not sure how much I'll get filmed for you because Again, I'm just gonna be chilling. I'm just gonna be being intuitive with my needs. And then tonight my partner's gonna bring home some kind of dinner that I like. And we are gonna watch a movie, eat cake, do the thing. <sighs> if I haven't said it enough, I am so grateful, lean on people, document your life in whatever way you're comfortable doing, whether that's through a journal or through photos or publicly like this, which is kind of a sadistic form of torture, but somehow I can't stop doing it because it's really, um, it's really empowering to look back on. I have all of the footage from earlier this year that I haven't shared that I think I wanna share eventually, but I just, there's such a fine line between trauma porn and awareness, you know, so I just, I'm still kind of trying to navigate that, but being able to go back and reflect on it is very powerful for me, for sure. So um, I recommend doing that. I've been talking for a very long time. I think because I'm getting nervous, so I can't stop. Let's go get coffee. Happy birthday.